and I take a high dose of ibuprofen. You know where it came from? It came from Brazil. The idea came from Brazil or somewhere down in there. But I think that we are on the verge, literally, of what's going to happen. And I think, I think this Bible is not just the best guide. It's the only one that's right 100% of the time. If you want to waste your time reading the book of Enoch or anything else, knock yourself out. I don't have that kind of time to waste. I want to know more about what's in here so I can tell everybody it's right here. And I think there's going to come a time, and naturally, we all, we all have this idea that God, you know, they're going to cut the Internet off, and we won't be able to do this and that anymore. And people are saying, Pastor, what are you going to do? Well, then I'll just, I'll just go preach like God called me to preach. But until then, I'm going to try to reach everybody that I can to tell them that in such a time as we don't have any more electricity, thank God your King James Bible requires no batteries. Open it up and read it. And God will show you just like he shows me. You know what I want to do? I want to read, um, I don't know, a couple of emails. Can I do that? Uh, wow, there's a ton of them here. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to pick a couple at random. Uh, let's, well, now, now we got more of them coming in. Appreciate it, everybody. Um, JD says, look at the Sprint LTE pick again. You see the sun in the background. Yep, there's an X on it. I think it may be an X flare. Uh, the evolution, I believe, they're talking about of humans is going to come from a blast from the sun. Hmm. JD, I would be, I'm not, I'm not saying no. But I would be interested in, in knowing why you said that. I, I, I'm curious. I'm not going to say, oh, wow, I think that's, I'm not going to jump on it. I'm curious as to why you say that. And so if you get any e email on that, just let me know, okay? Uh, let's see here. Oh, Tom says, I just thought of something I noticed and thought about long ago. In Sam's Club, there are many house brand products called Members Mark. Interesting. Uh, Gary says, um, I'll have to deal that he's asking about, uh, uh, send me a link for streaming audio. Uh, he has HughesNet. Yeah, I'm on satellite at home. You'd be surprised at how little internet we get out there. Anyway, um, let's see here. John Walmart. And Masons, live better. It is written in the same letter type, even as Sprint Spark. Amen, John. You get it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba -da -da, that's a link. I can't tell you that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. First Timothy uh, one ten. Katie says, for whom mongers, for whom, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers. And she says, uh, these, Pastor Mike, Masons are men stealers. King James Bible is awesome. I agree with that. Uh, let's see here. Lisa says, do you remember the picture I sent you a few months ago of the lapel pin the Walmart pharmacist re received? No. Send it again. Uh, it said, I put the spark in health care. Ah! I put the spark in health care. You know what? You have got to send me that again. If you find that, Lisa, send that to me again. Um, also, I've read on our company website about the true self, which I discovered later, is a newage term. Amen. Uh, Sam says, God bless you for the work you and your church are doing up there. Thanks to your teaching, I've learned many things. Please, I have a question. In our church, we are thought that if we are praying and don't have words anymore, we should call the name Jesus repeatedly because the name Jesus has power. Is that okay? No. It's not okay. Well, how can you say that? Say the name of Jesus over and over. It's got power. It was Jesus himself who told us, do not, when you pray, use vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think they shall be, they shall be heard by their much speaking. 
And I'll tell you, the research, if you do any research in the occult, in the occult meditation, contemplative prayer, um, somebody sent me a thing about soaking prayer, I'm going to look into that. You will find out that the way to empty your mind and get in contact with this familiar spirit is by the repetition of a word or a phrase or even the name Jesus. Sam, I don't want to sound mean. I don't know your church. I don't know anything about it. But you did not read in the scriptures that when you ran out of stuff to pray, you just simply say Jesus over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And you did not read that in the Bible. That's somebody that said that. Where did they get it from? They didn't get it from the scriptures. So where does, where does doctrine come from that's not in the scriptures? Devils. They want you to start repeating over and over and over and over and over again. And Jesus said no. In fact, he contradicted that doctrine. You might want to look into who said that and why they said it. Be suspicious. Okay? One, let's see, one more. Ah, AJ, how you doing, buddy? High five. Um, in regard to the queen aspect of the high, the Catholic Church calls Mary the queen of heaven. He's right. Uh, let's see here. Pa -pa, da -da -da, let's see. Let's see. Anything, anything, anything. Um, Rocky. Hi, Pastor Mike. I heard you speak about how people who like dark places are of the devil. I'm so confused because I like dark rooms and sitting in dark rooms watching TV. Dark rooms relax me. I don't like lighted up rooms. My question to you is, does this mean I'm going to hell? Of course not. I, I never said that if you if you like uh, now uh, here here's something you said and it's normal you said uh, I like sitting in dark rooms uh, it relaxes me there is a physiological reason why is that the pineal gland literally is an eyeball inside of your brain that detects light and darkness when it detects darkness the pineal gland releases this this chemical that starts putting you to sleep. That's why you feel relaxed. I don't have a problem sitting in a dark room to like relax. I turn the lights out at night when I'm ready to go to sleep. Why? Because my pineal gland receives that input that there's, there's no more light, so now let's put this guy to sleep. I never said that if you like sitting in a dark room to relax that you're going to hell. My point was, and I thought I made this very clear, but my, my point is, is that there are no well-lit taverns. And usually, evil deeds go hand in hand with darkness. And so now we have churches that are no longer well-lit churches. They are dimly lit. Now they're bringing beer. They're dimly lit taverns is what they are. They always go hand in hand. And so, uh, you know, don't, don't read something into something that I said for whatever reason. Uh, anyway, all right. I got to run out of here. It's been good to be with everybody today. Appreciate you. Love you. God bless you. Uh, Lindsay's working on the Watchmen as we speak. Uh, it will be released uh, Sunday. And let's see, what else? I'll, I'll do the final part of the Divine Spark part of the subseries of the subseries of the series of the Fourth Kingdom. And today I'm already making notes. On, I'm still in powers. I am still in powers, Ephesians chapter 6. And today I started making notes on the power of the hand. Now, somebody, somebody remind me, if I've already done that video, write me and tell me, Hoggy, 
you already covered it because I'm I'm seriously trying to remember if I said anything about it or not. So if I have, tell me because I don't want to do the same video over again. All right, I, I'm kind I kind of lost track here, but uh, I'm still dealing with powers. I'm still I still haven't dealt with witchcraft yet and sacred nameism because they speak the tetragrammaton four letters anyway god bless you it's good to be with you today we will see you later alligator after a while crocodile bye-bye